In this video we will talk about how the most dangerous and often scariest creatures on our planet can either kill you or actually be your lifesaver. Stay tuned to learn about the dangers and the insane benefits of animal venom. Roughly 15% of all animals are venomous. When you think about venomous creatures, the first species that come to mind are probably snakes, spiders, scorpions and maybe even jellyfish. However, the majority of all animal lineages actually contain venomous representatives. There even is one primate species, the slow loris, which has a venom-producing gland under its arms. They will mix saliva with the venom by licking their armpit. As a result, their bite will become venomous. However, there is only a small percentage of all venomous animals that are actually a potential danger for humans. In general and most of the time, a venom's purpose is to either kill or digest captured prey or as a form of self-defense by deterring potential predators. But what exactly is a venom and how does it work? Venoms are highly concentrated fluids that typically consist of a cocktail of dozens or hundreds of enzymes, peptides and smaller organic compounds. These compounds target and disable specific chemicals in the victim, damaging cellular and organ system functions. Most of the time, venoms are directly injected into the prey or the predator. And over the course of evolution, animals developed a lot of different ways to inject their killing cocktail, including, among others, modified teeth, fang-like extremities, stingers, proboscis, antennae, hair, harpoons and nematocysts. Other forms of venom application are spraying in some snakes, scorpions and ant species or releasing of the venomous fluid in the surrounding water. But no matter what the form of delivery is, a venom always causes some sort of physiological change that incapitate or deters the targeted victim. However, like we mentioned in the very beginning, the physiological changes can be used to have beneficial aspects rather than detrimental ones. Let's take a closer look at the benefits of animal venom and how exactly it is used. In recent years and decades, toxinologists have shifted their attention towards potential benefits of toxins in animal venoms, including the area's diagnostics, therapeutics, molecular tools in research and treatments against pests and parasites. There are smart people on this planet who take some of the peptide toxins from animal venoms and exploit the high potency and selectivity against their respective molecular targets to develop novel therapeutics and beneficial compounds instead of using the venom to create damage. Here are some fascinating examples. The venom of a South American pit viper called Brazilian lancehead and toxins from other species from the same genus was used to create the basis to a drug called betroxobin for treatment of thrombosis and myocardial infarction. The snake uses its venom to produce lethal bleeding in their prey like small rodents and birds, but scientists managed to purify and isolate the betroxobin out of the venom and since then use it as an active ingredient for medical use. Zyconetide is a synthetic analogue of a molecule isolated from the venom of the sea snail Conus magus. This drug inhibits nerve impulses and the release of neurotransmitters in the thalamus, where the brain's pain center is located. The pain-killing ability of the C-cone supercompound is considered to be much more powerful than morphine but has actually even more benefits. Unlike opiate substances like morphine, zyconetide does not generate dependence or tolerance. A Gila monster is a hefty, up to 60 cm long lizard living in the border deserts between United States and Mexico. Since this cool looking animal moves rather slow, it is believed that they use their venom for protection instead of hunting. However, a compound in their venom has led to development of a synthetic drug called Exenatide, which was approved by the European Medicines Agency in 2009 and the US Food and Drug Administration back in 2005. The drug is used for treatment of type 2 diabetes and is currently even studied to possibly be used in the treatment of Parkinson's disease.
Now as a little bonus to round things out, I would like to mention that there are not only medicinal uses for animal venoms, it is also used as a cosmetic treatment. A famous example for that would be the botulinum toxin, or better known as Botox, or Argiotoxin 636, which is used for skin whitening and depigmentation treatment. Now these were only a few examples for the benefits of animal venoms. Humanity itself possibly just have scratched the surface of what our planet's venomous creatures have to offer. There might be a solution for currently irreversible diseases and disabilities, and who knows, maybe even an answer for future pandemics. Thank you all so much for watching, feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and maybe even subscribe for more content like this. There will usually be one video every weekend. But most importantly, take care of yourselves and have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day.